hope for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We are so glad you joined us. We are glad you joined us. You just don't know how much we just, I mean, we so get so excited to do these shows. I'm not even kidding. And, and to come into your home and for you to give us feedback that we are helping you and that God's blessing you and things are changing in your life. I'll tell you what, I, I just I just rejoice and rejoice and rejoice because God is so good. Remember to call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. Don't go through things alone. You're anonymous. We'll never solicit you. You've never gotten a letter from us in 17 years and you won't get one because there are uh, repeat People who call the prayer lines and which don't ever feel like you cannot. We're very grateful to walk with you to see God do things in your life and give you your breakthrough. So they're always behind my head uh, on a full shot. And then they are always across the bottom of the screen periodically. All right. Whoo! Glory to God. Get your favorite drink wherever you are. Mm -hmm. You may be drinking a smoothie on a beach. You may mm -hmm. be drinking a hot cup of coffee up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. and you may be drinking iced water, whatever, whatever, <laughs> iced tea. Get it and join us and sit down and go yes. for the ride because mm -hmm. we're talking about tough love today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope you stick around and then invite some friends to watch. And those of you who are clicking through the channel, when you come upon God's view, God wants you to stay because he has something for you. He really does. Um, you didn't catch us by no accident. It's That's God's right. divine appointment for you right now. So stay right there. He has something for you. I'm Charlene. Back to Miriam, your God's View host. We have Stephanie Bash. We have Priscilla Pruitt. We're back with us, Charlene Body, and she's our dear friend, amazing yes. woman of God. Travels the world. Has taught at the Pentagon on the Holy Spirit. Worked for two presidents. Mm -hmm. Has two books out. Um, you can go to Charlene.com. They're on Amazon. You can do Audible. You can do Kindle. Kindle. I mean, just so many, many things. And I don't remember the one, but I remember the true grid. Mm -hmm. I remember experience. It's that no appointments necessary. I keep wanting to say yeah. experience. <laughs> yeah. But it's no, no appointments necessary. necessary. <laughs> and that means you're going to experience God. So I'll call it experience God. Yeah, there you yeah. go. There and you many go. celebrities and, and, and people of uh, high up statue have went to new, uh, you know, degrees mm -hmm. in their walk and destiny due to those books and uh um charlene i keep i keep wanting to call her a different name and i'm telling you i know her i know her name but anyway uh, charlene and charlene.com and she's been so gracious to come up and join us for like 14 shows we are very she's doing an amazing job fits right yes, in we're very is. grateful oh, and we wonder. thank you yes. so glad to be here yeah. Thank and you so, so much. For and then we have Lana. Lana <laughs> And you know, God chose green today. And you know, yes. green means flourishing church. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Come on. And it yes. also Amen. means new yes. beginnings. It does. So, yes. so let green come to you today. Yes. <laughs> Amen. It's Amen. life. It's new life. Green when grass grows and trees. Mm -hmm. and, and it is. It's like flourishing. You flourish like grass flourishes and trees flourish. And, and mm -hmm. so anyways, we're saying green today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. yes we are. So now, was this? Mine. This is your, okay. <laughs> mine. I'm like, mine. I mine, love mine, this mine, subject. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> That I was feel like it's just so important. Finding Dory. And yes. I feel like it's mine, so mine, important, mine, though, mine, and mine. no one's talking about tough love. Everyone's, mm -hmm. oh, love, and you got to just allow and accept and grace, grace, grace. And, you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, not, yeah. it's yeah. not the case. It says in Matthew 7, 21 through 23, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many uh -huh. will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy? in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles then i will tell them plainly that's so scary i never knew it's you true, away from me you evil doer revelation 3 5 says i know your deeds that you are neither hot nor cold i wish that you were either one or the other so because you are lukewarm neither hot nor cold i am about to spit you out of my mouth mm. 
So God is a jealous God. He is jealous for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And he has this tough love, love for us. And it's all because he loves us so passionately that he desires the same for us. Mm -hmm. And this to me is just such an important and passionate subject for me. And it's not discussed in the church. And I think that when we discuss it, it is so important because one day, we're going to stand at the judgment seat. And if you've denied him, and if you were lukewarm, and if you did not know him, then at that point, it's too late. And I didn't do my job, and we haven't done our job up here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why I really am passionate about this. Proverbs 3, 11 says, My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves. Yes, As a love. father, the son he delights in. Hebrews 12, 6 or 7 says, because the Lord's discipline, because the Lord disciplines the ones he loves, he also chastens everyone he accepts as his son. And so I have a lot of kids <laughs> and I understand this. I understand that if my little El Shaddai, that's my daughter, my little El, if she touches the hot stove, I'm going to make sure that in the, that first time is the only time she does it. I'm going to smack her hand and say, no, hot hot and show her even hover it and show her look hot i don't want you to burn mm -hmm. not because i am a bad mother and i just spanked her hand because i want to know that there's consequences i want her to know that if mm -hmm. she touches it there's going to be a consequence to it mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. the lord when he says us those i love i rebuke and discipline it's to show you there's a consequence to your sin it's not to be mean it's because i love you mm -hmm. god's discipline is a it's an expression of his love. Hallelujah. It serves as a correction and guidance for his people, encouraging them to live in accordance to his will. And so I know discipline can involve sometimes challenges or um, hardships, mm -hmm. and I hate him. And I, I, yeah. God disciplines me <coughs> a lot, and I need it sometimes. Yeah. But it's ultimately, yeah. and I understand, to shape me and to refine mm -hmm. me into, yes, to me. into yeah. this person child he loves into a good mm -hmm. parent mm -hmm. for my right. kids and so i get this and there's so many examples if you want to test this because a lot of people don't believe this but if i'm just gonna give a few examples and i'm not going to read about them so you look them up so example of this is israel's exile you can look that up in second Kings 17 7 through 23 um i'm not gonna tell you about it because i don't want to take up too much time noah in the flood look that up in genesis 6 through 9 uh the babylonian exile that i talked about um you can look about Oh, no, the Babylonian exile, Jeremiah 29, 10 through 14, the Israelites in the wilderness, Numbers 14 through 20 through 23, Elisha and King Jehoram, 2 Kings 3, 13 through 19, Ananias and Sapphira, that's in Acts 5. There's so many stories, but if you look those up, you will see that this whole thing that tough love is not God is trumped. Mm -hmm. That is not true. God is a jealous God, and he loves us so much that he does this for our own good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, amen. Mm -hmm. I love that. Well, and you say, you know, uh, uh, a lot of people, too, when you're talking about this tough love, you know, a lot of people are having this sloppy agape love, and they yeah. think they can do whatever exactly. they want. Mm -hmm. And I just posted on Facebook. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, well, God loves me. There's grace. But mm -hmm. when grace becomes an excuse to live in sin, mm -hmm. you are no longer under grace but under deception. That's right. That's right. And so that, and I thought that was so important to, to put mm -hmm. that out there because mm -hmm. tough love is so that you aren't going to burn. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly. tough love yeah. Mm -hmm. is, like you say, I mean, if I didn't have all of the correction that God gave me in my life, and in and, and Hebrews, all of the stuff that you were reading, it does go on to say this, that when God is disciplining or correcting someone, it says this in Hebrews, all of mm -hmm. those scriptures mm -hmm. she was talking about, that, that we as brothers and sisters are lift up the feeble knee mm -hmm. and the, uh, we yeah. are not to say, ha, 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 right. look right. at God no. is getting up. He's disciplined. No. Yes. And I'm we glad are to you hold said that. them up. Yes. We are supposed yes. to pray for them yes. because no correction, mm -hmm. it says, yeah. seems fun at the time. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But it is for our good mm -hmm. and it's for their good. And we should say, yes, Lord, thank you. Mm -hmm. And because, mm -hmm. hey, if, if not, you know, for whatever God did to me, I could have been acting the same way at that time. Mm -hmm. You have to, you know, I've always been like when, you know, Joyce Meyer would say, and I've, I've not listened to her a lot, but I've listened to her and I've heard her messages, how she was just compelled and convicted to take baskets back. I've always been like that. I see somebody's clothes yeah. over here. Laundry they put it in the wrong place. I take the clothes back. Shopping I take baskets. everybody's baskets back. I've yeah. just always mm -hmm. been that yes. way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was with a couple ministers one day that I really liked, but see, 
when I'm when I'm with people and I see them act this way, they're not my friends for very long. I, I just don't stay in their lives because it's it's wrong. It shows their character. We yeah, it shows yeah. their character. Yeah. And I was shopping with them, and they'd pick this thing up, and they'd just throw it over here. They'd pick mm -hmm. this thing up, they'd just throw mm -hmm. it over. It made a mess, too. They never did it right. And then we were having uh, dinner with them after. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I mean, this, uh, there's so many people that go to their church. I, I, I don't get it. Yeah. And, and, and his wife... Um, she did something, and he took, and he's a martial arts guy. He took his elbow and just went just like that in her side. Like, <gasps> shut up. Wow. And I thought, I, I, I really was going to say something, oh, yeah. but I thought, Jesus, you know no. what, God, you're going to no, deal with no. this one. I'm out of here. Yeah. They, I, they were, they were no longer my friends. Yeah. And because there, there's things that in you can't that stand kind, for. Yeah. yeah you I cannot stand for. And yes. I can't be around that kind of character. That's right. No. no. How dare you mm -hmm. do that to your wife? And how right. dare you do everything you do in yes. the store and let somebody else clean it up? Like you're, yeah. you know, yes. it, it's mm -hmm. just it just shows your mm -hmm. sloppy yeah. life, yes. mm -hmm. your unfruitful life. To me, yes. mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care what mm -hmm. you're looking like in uh -huh. your church or whatever you do, and I, you know, who knows yes. if they ever see this? I don't care. It's truth. And yeah. so, anyways, yeah. and you moving know, on. You know, and you know what I went yeah. through with one of my children? It's uh -huh. the same thing. Like. What was going on? One of my oldest children was doing stuff and making out and stuff in front of her siblings, little siblings. Like, uh -huh. I couldn't allow that in the house because mm -hmm. you cannot allow mm -hmm. that perversion. You cannot no. allow that. Exactly. You cannot stand no. for that because it's going to, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it says, S -s -s <laughs> I don't want to say it, but it rolls downhill. You know, yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you have to stand for stuff yeah. because yeah. it's not, it's, it's okay. Yeah. It's not okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. tough love is something that comes up all the time. And in life, I get asked about it all the time. Like, how? Really? what is the boundary? What mm -hmm. is the boundary with mm -hmm. my child? What is the boundary with somebody in the church? What is the mm -hmm. boundary with myself? Like, what does this look like? And so I just looked up the word tough. And it means um, of a substance, substance or object. And it says strong enough to withstand adverse conditions or rough or careless handling. That's good. And, I, and I think, wow, that's, that's exactly what it is because... In Proverbs thirteen twenty four, it tells us whoever spares mm -hmm. the rod hates their children. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. And then you talked about a scripture where it's, you know, in Proverbs and in Hebrews, it talks about God disciplining us because he loves us so That's much. Right. And, and he is a tough God, mm -hmm. yes. but he's loving at the same time. Like yeah. those meet, tough love actually meets. <coughs> And it brings a heart together instead yes. of pulling mm -hmm. a heart apart. Mm -hmm. And I remember a friend of mine saying that she had gotten deep into addiction and everybody was loving her, loving her, giving her everything she needed. And one day she called her mom and her mom said, I love you so much that I can't give you anything anymore. Mm -hmm. And you're yes. no longer allowed to live here. That's mm -hmm. good. Yes. It good. broke that mom's heart. Yes. But she had to be had that to kind it. of tough yes. because yes. if you spare the rod, and it's the same thing he does for yeah. each one of us, spoil the child. and spoil the child, it keeps us out of hell. Yes. But what that did is it pushed her out onto the streets for a very short time, mm -hmm. and then she went, Thank wait a minute, Jesus. wait a minute, I need help. That's good. Mm -hmm. And she went and checked herself in, and today, you know, raising wonderful kids, Best has thing, grandkids, yeah. but it saved her life. That's amazing. And then mm -hmm. you talking about how people act the character. Mm -hmm. And I thought about if tough love when we become adults. Let's say we, we had discipline when we were little, or maybe we didn't, but then we become adults and we have responsibilities. Yeah. And what that looks like, integrity and character in tough love. And all of a sudden you're walking with the Lord and you're to do something. And I remember picking up a speaker one time and we were driving around. I had water bottles and stuff like that for, you know, and snacks and stuff. Um, while we were driving and she drank her water, she put the lid on and she went and threw the water oh, bottle window. on my floor oh, of my car. car and looked at me like, what are you going to do? Oh my goodness. And when we got what? to the destination, she got out and looked oh, at it and looked Lord. at me again and shut the door and walked away. And I remember thinking at that time, nobody has put a boundary on you. Even yeah, though you're running yeah. a race, you are sharing mm. Jesus but what you're doing mm -hmm. behind the scenes is breaking people. Exactly. And yeah. luckily I was somebody that it bothered me. I got really upset. I was like, ah, and yeah, I had to right just let on. it go. And I had to go in and listen to her speak. But at the same time, I'm like, Lord, who cares enough about her that has tough love to mm -hmm. say, you don't do that. Right. You know, and, and so anyway, I, I wanted to read this scripture because it goes along with it. 
Psalm 16, 5 through 8 says, The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. And I learned from some of those instances that tough love looks like a boundary in pleasant places. And when you start walking on eggshells, you start feeling something on the inside of your spirit, mm -hmm. either with yourself mm -hmm. or with someone else. It's not in a pleasant place. That's you got to go back mm -hmm. to God and say, yep. teach me what this looks like. And it says, surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart's in, heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. Love that with him in my right hand, I will not be shaken. Tough love looks like that. Amen. It brings our heart together. Yeah. Yes. And yep. it looks like that. That's good. Yeah. It's true. So good. Yeah. Um, I may not have any kids. I don't have any kids. I'm not married or anything like that. So I don't have all the children that my lovely sister Priscilla has. <laughs> but I am classed as a super nanny today. And I have nanny children mm. all over the world. Mm. <laughs> um, for that. very influential people. Wow that maybe would not have thought as I thought as a godly woman about discipline. And I know I got that from my mother, uh, who is a PhD um, in biblical counseling. And one of her specialties as a PhD is early childhood development. Mm. And my mother had the first 24 hour daycare center in Indiana. And I learned a lot as a little girl watching my mother with other people's kids. And um, even with my sister, I had a sister who was very strong willed. Uh, very smart as a child and was talking back to my mother at 18 months and she would often talk wow. out and do different ah. things in public and my mother's rule of thumb was always if you embarrass your mother in public I will embarrass you yes. and this mm -hmm. one moment I think my mom said that there were some elderly <laughs> ladies yeah. watching her mm -hmm. and she chastised my sister in the grocery store and they looked at my mother like how dare you mm -hmm. touch that baby but mm -hmm. they don't know how um, impetuant, I would say, my mm -hmm. sister was, you know, uh, at home. And she often got spanked. Now, today, my sister is this amazing, godly woman of God. But you would wonder mm -hmm. about that if you didn't stop the biting. Right. Yeah. Right. If you didn't you stop go. the pinching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. didn't stop all the things oh, that God, she was doing yeah. as this beautiful little girl, we mm -hmm. may not have the amazing woman of God we have today. That's right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to read you a verse that we haven't heard yet in Proverbs and it goes along with this story. Mm. This is what it says in Proverbs 27, 5, and I'm reading out of the NIV today. It says, open rebuke is better than love carefully concealed. Now, you just heard Priscilla say that God loves his children. He also says in scripture, you would be considered an adopted or a bastard child if you did not get the discipline of the Lord. That's mm -hmm. right. And this mm -hmm. verse says you're concealing your love Mm -hmm. When you do not rebuke wrong actions. Mm -hmm. That's right. Again, open rebuke is better than carefully concealing right. your love. That's right. So many people say, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I don't believe in the rod shar. I don't mm -hmm. believe in that. I think that's too tough. Mm -hmm. God says you will not hurt your child. That's right. If you use the yeah. rod. We're living in a world, ladies and gentlemen, that says you cannot touch your child. Mm -hmm. Many <laughs> parents that are Christian are being jailed mm -hmm. for spanking their children. Mm -hmm. We are living in that kind of world that says, don't yeah. use the rod. Mm -hmm. So today we're saying, uh, exhibit and express, as Priscilla said, mm -hmm. the tough love of the Lord. Mm -hmm. If you truly love your children, right. truly love yeah. your children. let's right. be godly parents. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's be godly caregivers of our children. And with each other in our relationships, mm -hmm. it sharpens us. Mm -hmm. That's right. You That's know, right. there's a story about a seven-year-old boy who really had a problem and he was always talking back and arguing and lying and finally his mother and father had enough of it. So they stripped him of his Garden of Eden, his room, and they <laughs> put him down to the barren essentials, even his clothing. And instead of it helping, he only got more angry and he kept mm -hmm. lying and doing all the things he shouldn't do and the next morning he woke up and he said he had a stomach ache and he didn't want to go to school so his mother said all right then you could stay in your room all day with the lights out mm -hmm. in your bed and have nothing to read or, or do with that about 10 minutes later, he decided that his stomach was feeling better. <laughs> and, you know, so many times we 
have our problems with our prodigal sons. The other day I was reading about uh, Samuel, the prophet, who was a mighty man of God, very obedient to God, but he had two sons that yes. were very disobedient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that happens. And when that does happen, I think people should be assured of scriptures that say Isaiah 54, 13, all your children shall be taught of the Lord. Yes. All your children shall be taught yeah. of the mm -hmm. Lord. Come on. That's right. Amen. So we yes. can, you know, we don't have to be so tense. It's all about us. We did the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Right. God will take over mm -hmm. and yeah. he will teach them so that mm -hmm. you could rest. And there's a wonderful scripture in Job 22, 30 mm -hmm. that says, with your clean hands, mm -hmm. because of your clean hands that you abide in the Lord, so to speak, that you could pray for your children and they will come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. and Amen. they will be saved. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Yes. What a great God! I we wanted have. to add real quick because um, I don't want people just to think that we're just flippantly spanking our children or anything no, like that. No, I was thinking I want that you to, same thing. Good. Because some people are not a rod, and they're because abusing it's a, they're exactly they yes. do not no. condone abuse. And I want to no. add this: the first thing you need to do before you you correct your child I was gonna say is, it, so. is make sure that you're not going to do it in anger. Yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah. Se Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also. Ask the Holy Spirit, most importantly, ask the Holy Spirit how to correct it because yeah. there is a way to correct each situation and they are different. Yeah. Spanking right. is not always the first thing in that. Nope. To me, exactly. it's, typically it's been like a last yeah. resort. Right. Yeah. And so um, ask the Holy Spirit. Never do it in anger. And if you do have to spank the child, make sure it's not out of wrath That's and make right. sure afterward you love Amen. them and you make sure that they understand why. Yeah. They understand what it was yes. and that mm -hmm. you love yes. them and it's because you love them. Them, That's right. That you chose to do that. Yeah, okay? because there's mm -hmm. been people throughout yes, the years I people that I've ministered to, mm -hmm. and and they have told their children this. And yeah. this one was a pastor, and kept saying to her, "Well, Jesus told me to rape you. Jesus <gasps> told me to do this. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus Lord, told mercy. me. Jesus oh, told Lord, me to do this no, because never. He loves you. He yes. So, so oh. we we are oh, we are yeah. talking. Yeah. We yeah. we yeah. are yeah. talking Ooh. about spare the rod, spoil the child. We are talking about you do it out of love. You do it. Uh, good. You, you don't. You don't do that. God does it because He loves us and wants to bring us to a better place, mm -hmm. and that's why He disciplines us because mm -hmm. it does define us to yeah. a great person, to yes. somebody better. But He never abuses us. God no. is never. not an abuser. No. No. God is not. Uh, he doesn't advocates condone it. Sexual no. abuse. No. no. He doesn't pain. condone it. Uh, yeah, conflicting pain. Yes. And the mm -hmm. thing is, if that's happening to you, and somebody's telling you God has told them to do this, because no. no. you you cannot believe no. how many times that I've heard mm -hmm. that that God told mm -hmm. me to do this no god told me um to you know sodomize you god <gasps> told no. me to yes. do this oh, oh, and Lord. and we yeah. have this mm -hmm. going oh. on over yes. and over and if you're That's one of true. them you're one of them we're telling you get out and expose it yes the mm -hmm. only reason why this person is still getting away with it because they can keep your mouth shut up <sighs> yeah. but if yeah. you That's right. expose yeah. yes. believe me they will be taken care of. Yes. But mm -hmm. they keep their victims. Shut up or I'm going to tell you, you know, your mm -hmm. mom, everybody, mm -hmm. you, 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 mm -hmm. you say this and guess what? She's not going to have no money. You're all going to starve. You're all going to, you know, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Or I'm going to kill the dog or whatever. You know, they say all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. Yep. But I can tell you this. Mm -hmm. It's all a lie. But if you expose them, mm -hmm. then they're, they're done. And then you can save other people from, because if they're right. doing it to you, yes. they're doing it to a lot of That's people. Right. Absolutely. And so we, listen, God don't condone yes. it. We don't condone no, it. No. And if you're one of them, call our prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. I've had, you know, you know what breaks my heart is when kids call and they say something that's happening yeah. in their home. Mm -hmm. And I've had, you know, I haven't had tons of kids call, but I've had quite a few. And, and just this, the, the sound of their little voice i'm mm -hmm. watching your tv show and mm -hmm. and mommy just stays in her bedroom and and mm. she's depressed and we you mm -hmm. know will you please pray for my mm. mommy they're so torn you know yeah. Yeah. and and i mean 
I haven't had one that is called that tiny being sexually abused, but Thank you, I don't doubt uh, one time we'll get that, you yeah. know, or two mm -hmm. times or 20 mm -hmm. times. It just takes that mm -hmm. one time, that yeah. nerve yes. to say something, yeah. mm -hmm. and and they will. But yes. there's been mm -hmm. so that the, the kids that, you know, call, they're, they're so hurting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you say, uh, you know, I heard adults say, well, you know, it doesn't affect you what we're doing oh, you know no. it's not no, affecting no, 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 no. you but yeah. yeah you you as an adult in your home you affect everybody in that home that's that right. child yeah. is a product of yeah. you yeah. Yeah. and right. i'll tell you what every, everything everything that you do affects oh. them i yes. remember when my dad would beat my mom and i'd be in the i'd be in the room and it just it's horrifying you can't oh. do anything right. you, yeah. you want so mm. bad to be able to do something it is so hard and i made a vow mm. no man will ever do that to mm. me mm. ever mm. you know and i'll tell you this man that i'm married to to 50 years now is gold. I mean, he's a yeah. saint. Yeah. If anybody yeah. was cray cray, it was me. You know, <laughs> he's, a, he's the one that got me yeah. with the love yeah. of God. Oh, yeah. I was the nut. I really yeah. was. And he came yes. from the same household, but but he he just handles uh -huh. things better. You know, yeah. he's just this loving, nice guy. And I'm like, oh, why? Yes. Yes. And he's yes. like, well, let's look at yeah. this. Yeah. Let's yeah. just look at this. Look at it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You know, are you crazy? But that's what God gave me to yes. show His love. Right. Oh, and so, you know, I love we, that because yeah. it shows that you love just. You love yeah. what's just mm -hmm. and yeah. what's righteous. Exactly. And, and if you know exactly. somebody and you know a child that's going through this, or if you've seen that injustice, it's mm -hmm. so important because I don't care. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. And we have to just <laughs> it's stop. Time to go. Yeah. But, you know, when it's time to go, we all yes. know it. When they hold Zip up it. that two minutes, mm -hmm. the most important thing we have to say is Jesus. Yes. To bring mm -hmm. you to Jesus. Hallelujah. And all you got to do is call on him. You know, everybody who calls on his name shall be saved. You know, the devil's lied to you. Well, he don't want me. Look at what I've done, all this kind of stuff. Listen, he wants you. I can't mm -hmm. tell you that enough. We all have felt that. Well, you mm -hmm. know, even when we do something, we still go back to, you no. Know, as much as we know God loves us, we say, yes. oh God, you know, we feel yes. so bad. We yeah. condemn ourselves. And the yeah. devil, we're our worst enemies. We beat ourselves up because the devil put something there and we're just, you know, and that's what the devil's doing to you. He's just trying to condemn you and make yeah. you feel like, no, God would never want you. Oh, yes, he wants you. Yeah. You know, I don't care what you just did. He wants you. And then you guys will go on this beautiful journey. And all you got to do is call on the name of the Lord. And that's mm -hmm. Jesus that's right. Christ, the one who died on a cross, shed his mm -hmm. blood, rose again, and coming yes. back to take his bride eternally mm -hmm. to this glorious heaven. Mm-hmm. And if you called on his name, whether you said, I confess it with my mouth, believe in my heart, and merge those two, which the Bible tells us to do in Romans 9, 10, 10 9 and 10. But, okay, you, you may have said that, but some of you are so broken. I've seen it over and over as I give this calls. You can't even say it, but he knows what we say before we say it. Mm -hmm. He knows. He knows your heart. If you're calling upon him, you're saved. And then ask Jesus mm -hmm. to baptize you with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Baptize That's you. Right. And it will give you, the, the word will open up. You'll understand things. And you'll have your 911 prayer language right. to heaven. And call 307-637-PRAY or 7729. Or whoever, tell somebody. And go to our website today, please. We need partners to help us keep coming in your yes. home around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We got to go. I'm going. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. We love you. Going around the globe for the gospel of